Hey everyone, this is Malwave, and I'm here with another Transformers video review. Today, it'll be the turn of... Generation 1 Megatron. Now, Megatron himself is a Walther P-38 handgun. Looks very nice. I'm gonna have to... It's gonna be interesting doing this, because I gotta kinda go to the side, so I can actually manhandle this gun. This gun's manly. It's a manly gun. Uh, now this one is the original Generation One. As as you can tell, it does not have the orange cap now regular now required by law. And as a gun, I can tell you that it feels quite natural in the hand. Now, granted, you're going to have to extend the feet if you want to actually get a full grip, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. It feels it feels natural even has the, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has, says Walther P-38 on the side. Now Megatron himself comes with many accessories. He comes with his handgun, I guess. Now in the Japanese reissue he came with a sword. You have his scope. You have his s stock, which knocks out my, back, my background. And you have his silencer. Now this offers up a lot of possibilities. This is pretty much the gun mode, and as a little dramatization, here it is in gun mode! Y yes, this is the reissue from the, uh, this is the little gun that comes with MP Prime, but it's essentially the exact same thing, and it's the only way I can really represent how this gun looks on camera. Now, gun-wise, vehicle mode-wise, with all these little different options, I'm giving Megatron's gun mode a 25 out of 25. I mean, you can't really give his gun mode any other score aside from this, because it looks like a gun. It looks... it, it has a lot of different options, it gives you many different choices, and it really, I just, I just love the fact that this is a gun, and this is probably the first actual gun transformer I've ever owned. And I'm actually surprised it got here from London. By the way, thanks Cloud, I really appreciate it. So now that we have now that we have the vehicle mode, let's go to the robot mode. And here we have Generation 1 Megatron in his robot mode. I have to zoom up a bit here. I hit the tripod. I love this vehicle mode. I love this robot mode. He Megatron is probably one of the slickest looking G1 toys I've owned. And to be honest, I think he was one of those toys that I think that they base a lot of the design model off of. Uh, as you can tell already from one little issue, Megatron does not like to stand very well. His legs are on these hinge systems and that's how they transform. Pretty much they hinge over to form the gun and they don't lock so they can just swing out all over so Megatron can do the Megatron can do the uh, the MC Hammer dance you can't touch this you can't touch this you can't touch this sorry articulation well Megatron's a G1 toy here's his articulation once I get my arm in here his arm rotates 360 degrees. It bends out like he's panhandling. And he can kick forward. And technically you could say he does the perceptor kick, but that just looks stupid. All in all, unfortunately, judging, like, this is a Generation 1 toy, so I shouldn't be too harsh. But we are talking about the articulation of today, and unfortunately, this wouldn't cut it. If you gave a kid a G1 toy, they would ask you, what the hell? Not to mention, again, they re-released him, so this is valid. So he gets about a he gets a 16 out of 25. Again, good articulation for a G1 toy, but not something worth, but not something that big. Gimmick-wise, Megatron makes up for it with a 20. As you know, he's already got his gun mode, but he has another set of gimmicks. 
which I will show you now. This is Megatron's, uh, well, what I like to call the uh, Giant Cannon of Doom. This thing is formed from not only his fusion cannon at the top, but all the pieces for his gun mode. This is the big reason why I gave Megatron a major score in terms of gimmick. Now apparently, I don't have them, but there's a little switch right here. I'll just I'll scoot this sideways. If you can see, there's a little switch right here, and you load a like a plastic pellet into the top here, and you pull that back, and it'll fire out. As you heard. Now I don't I didn't get any of the pellets. But I wasn't really expecting because I got this guy on a trade, and really, the fact that Glaug had this in such a good, uh, such good condition is amazing. Now, aside from this, Megatron also has some other gimmicks. So we'll just scoot this guy to the side and come up with the other ones. Now, firstly, is Megatron's gun. It's nice and shiny, but here's the issue. Uh, there is nowhere to tab it in. There, this gun has no... I, 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 I can't see where it would tab in. I, maybe up here? You know, if, it, if it tabs in on one of these things, maybe, but on Megatron, I, I, don't, I don't see anything that it would tab onto. You know, just... If it goes on his arm, it doesn't fit on his arm, you know, tab in his arm and like slide this in. I, I don't see where this goes. So. The other thing that Megatron has is his sword. Now, unfortunately, the sword. This is another reason why he only got 20. His sword doesn't really like to tab in very well. That's on that hand. On this hand, it's just as bad as I try and show you with my futile off screen. With my futile, with my futile off-screen reviewing. <sighs> Come on, Megatron, work with me. There. That's barely in there, as you can tell. So that's aside from the cannon, Megatron's gimmicks aren't that great. However, and unfortunately, the fun factor also also reflects that with a 17. Now, I'm not saying Megatron here isn't fun. I mean, any kid would love to have a gun to just wave around at people, but think of it this way. This guy, what happens, this is the worst case scenario. What happens if this someone kid runs outside with Megatron in his hand, pretending to shoot people? If you have an overly paranoid person in your area, and they see this, they'll think it's a real gun. This is when this is what's prompted most people, most companies, to put a an orange cap on the top of their gun barrels, and also on a just on a very big side note, I I put the barrel up here. It's actually supposed to be down over his shoulder, but I don't like the side cannon of doom. Anyway, the point. Anyway, you also have the sword, which doesn't tab in very well. You have the gun of complete pointlessness. And also, if you put a launch, if you put a pellet into this thing and you fire it at a kid's eye, it could hurt. That and Megatron is extremely hard to find for cheap. I've seen the Encore go for seventy, eighty, ninety dollars without tax. So it's like MP Prime. It's not a toy if you want to give your kid. It's a toy for collectors. So, in total, Generation 1 Megatron scores a 78 out of 100. The toy has flaws. The toy is extremely fragile when waved around. It doesn't stand up very well. And frankly, he has a trigger that should be censored. But all in all, Megatron does what Megatron should. He's a gun that transforms into a robot. And to be perfectly honest, for that type of engineering, the Masterpiece Megatron did it better, but... I have to give props to the people who designed Megatron because really, they turned a convincing gun into a convincing looking robot. And to be honest, that scores major points. So until next time, this is Malwave with Generation 1 Megatron signing out. See ya folks. The trigger is off my crotch! Why the slag of a human's playing with my crotch?